Right, so here we go with a new video on an air detector. So we've done radon, uh, this time we're going to go for something slightly different. Uh, this is actually a PM 2.5 monitor. So this PM 2.5 is basically, as I understand it, um, kind of particles from um, combustion. So cars, diesel, petrol, uh, also covers wood, coal, and, and anything else that's burnt. Um, I believe it may also can um, include things like um, I know slurry and stuff like that that's uh, sprayed onto fields. Uh, so it's it's the tiny um, particulate matter that gets into your lungs and has been linked with heart attacks, strokes, and I believe cancer as well. So um, there are monitoring stations outside in cities and that's all well and good but what you don't really know is what's going on in your own home um, these monitors have obviously become cheaper and cheaper I didn't realize they were so cheap and uh, this one can be bought for around 40 pounds so I thought I'd just give it a, a whirl and, and see how it goes I've got no idea I didn't really read up on it um, it's just a straightforward purchase so let's um, open it up and see what we get okay so got the user manual like I say um, I have not read this at all um, just having a quick read so turn on device to get it to work when PM 2.5 density value higher than 250 the buzzer will ring six times after finishing detecting turn off the device and then keep it well and safe for future use it's got sort of chine English when standby time more than 30 minutes the product will go to sleep mode press the side button to wake it up okay in a minute I'm going to have a look at um, what levels should be what the guidance levels are um, there was something recently in I think it was Delhi in India and their roadside monitors went above 999 um, well basically they stuck at 999 because that's as high as they could go and out of interest this is the same 0 to 999 um, density per litre okay it's got a lithium battery charged by USB not sure if it's charged on purchase so it's a Igores if that's how you pronounce it so that's all you get um, or do you? you take this out as many hidden cables yeah there you go there's a USB cable that looks of, to be a recent quality recent decent okay so let's power it on zero 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 so I'm not sure you can hear that but there's a fan working I believe it's like based on a laser beam detection system so obviously the more particles the less stronger the beams gonna be um, the fan must be sucking in the air I guess so so it's four I got no idea if that's a good reading or a bad reading um, I'm pretty sure it's like a it's fine. Uh, let's go back to the specs again. So it's detection time is ten seconds. Temperature ranges. I'm not sure how long this would last for. It's got a fan in it. I doubt if it lasts for that long. It's gone to five. We'll do some tests later on with a fire, and um, we'll just see what the, how the reading changes. And we'll also do a reading outside, and I'll also uh, look at uh, what the level ideally should be. so this is testing it in the car or the van rather parked in the drive wood burners are on outside in the neighborhood and the vent is on on the van slightly but not fan on so it's coming up to 20 which is i 
think a still a low reading. We look at the end as the chart that I'll show you, um, which is uh, I think it's published by Public Health England. But yeah, so it's 20 going down to 19, um, and yeah, so not massively high. But this is rural, so in towns and cities it could be higher. Then we're going um, the vans on the move. Uh, behind some other vehicles and the reading's still pretty pretty low and then here we're burning some sausages so switch it on 14 does pep up a little bit and then it kind of goes down as the fans work in the extractor fan and then finally we've got the wood burner so wood burner's been going for some time door's been open shut uh, changing like oh, sorry put the fuel in but the reading is still relatively low two to three um, which it even goes down to zero where um, I'm sat if I put the thing on the table. So no major readings, no major shocks. Uh, the unit is brilliant. Uh, I've been using it for about three or four days now, haven't charged it, and the lithium battery's been going fine. So the next shot is the guidelines on the PM 2.5 levels. So there you go, we didn't really exceed num uh, level two. Uh, I've certainly never seen it above level two. Uh, in, in a city, um, I guess that would be different. Uh, but yeah, very good uh, cheap monitor for the PM 2.5, worth buying. I'll put a link in it uh, to the uh, Amazon store for this and also um, some literature from Public Health England. Thanks for watching.